These woodlands are super important during these flash flooding events because these root networks from these trees capture so much more of that rain, just like the grasslands do. With these roots, especially from the juniper uh, and the oak going down into the rock, the water can follow those roots straight down into our springs and even some in a very small amount down into the aquifers. Uh, another massive advantage is that because of all these root systems, it's really good at erosion control. So in this instance, what's happened was the river is just over there on the other side of this thicket. It over, uh, you know, it overflowed over that limestone ledge and into this woodland here, right? And when it did that, it brought all the sediment that it was eroding further up the river. And not only did it bring sediment, it also brought a bunch of debris from fallen trees and other things. Um, and so this giant woodland basically acted as a giant net for the sediment and also all that debris. So all of that sediment gets deposited here as soil for the trees and the wildlife uh, and the flora and the fauna to use, uh, but also all of this debris gets caught by these trees. That's debris that's not going down the river, uh, potentially impacting other things, um, but it's also debris that's getting caught here and then it's gonna be decomposed over a period of time by bacteria, fungi, other things. And that's actually gonna further contribute to the soil health, which then feeds back into the water cycle, which means we get more water infiltration, healthier forest, and you can see how this feedback loop starts to you know, kick off.